Obviously this is going to be taking part in the tractor run. This is what I used last year. Well, it's not, it was the other one, but it's the same tractor because I could fit the bubble machine on the back. It had a passenger seat for Charlotte to fit in to do the sort of communications because I was driving. And we had the sign on the front as well. So I'll probably drive this again. Lots of exciting tractors in the first 50 that have obviously got a confirmed space, including the class Zerion, which looks an absolute monster. And the fifth fast track off the production line that's apparently has been restored. That's in it as well. I think there's a couple of Unimogs in there as well. So it's going to be really good. And I can't wait. We need to see though, if we can get this thing going a bit quicker. So I'm going to go and get a tape measure and measure the wheel stud fitment to see if the wheels off the muck spreader or the wheels off the corn drill are the same fitment. Because if we just put bigger wheels on, we might be able to get a bit more road speed out of it. Just going through the emails now for the tractor run. So we're over 50 now and obviously we can take a hundred so if people just want us to keep emailing in so that we can fill up that other sort of 20 ish about slots and then the rest we'll put on ebay unless there's a flood and it's just easier because the only thing is with ebay they might take a bit of a fee so if you still want to take part bang an email across now with your reg what you'll be driving and um and your mobile number so that we can start a whatsapp group to communicate with all the drivers before the event lots of feedback of what's gone wrong with this bonnet the general consensus seems to be that we just need to flatten, put more lacquer on. We've probably not got enough lacquer on it. So we'll try that either this afternoon or tomorrow. There is a David Brown open day at Meltham near the factory. I'm going to try and get to it if I get a chance. But, but if not, I might have a play with these panels. Right, so we'll measure the stud pattern. It's about 28 centimetres. Centre of the stud to the centre of the stud. And the hub centre is about 21-ish. So let's see what the drill, what pattern's on the drill. Because these are quite tall wheels. Let's have a look. Well, first things first, the hub's too small. And across the centres is at least 30. So that's not going to fit. And it's that tyre, what size is that tyre? Size. Oh, there you go, right in front of me, 520, 85 by 38. Now, wonder would that tyre, if you took it off the rim, fit this rim over here. These are 38 inch rim or a 36. Yeah, 38 inch rim, so 20.8 on here. So let's just, I'll measure the height of the wheels though, actually, just to see whether there's actually a bigger, bigger diameter. These stand about 174 centimetres tall, and so do the ones on the drill. So even if we did swap the tyres round, I don't think we'd gain anything. Because what we want is a bigger tyre, because a bigger tyre has a larger circumference. A larger circumference, every time it rotates, put, goes further. So we'd basically be able to get more speed out of it. Even if it was only 10%, if it does about 27, we'd get it up to 30, hopefully. Yeah, we might have to have a play, see what it's revving to. The rev count is not working at the moment, so we don't want to rev it too hard and damage it. But there might be potential to get more out of the engine. But I could just do with some wheels that fill the arches a bit better perhaps to, to get it get it motoring on. Back up on the roof and I really need to get that little bulldozer sorted out to clean it because the solar panels are really on the top. Anyway, the reason I'm up here is someone with eagle eyes noticed the other day that there was a nail still in the bottom of this gutter in the video down there somewhere so hopefully we can fish it out there we go so we don't want that up there because that could cause problems so we'll throw it down there anyway pretty good the gutter's still clean quite good you can either walk down the gutter or walk on these two purlins either side it's like a walkway I've been up there in the cherry picker and I used that switch because I wasn't sure if this one was going to rank up. Anyway, I had to go a little bit higher with that switch and it worked. But now that switch won't swivel. I can't put the cherry bigger back where it was. Which is really annoying because it's on top of that chip now, but it was parked there before and I just literally just spun it round. It's a bit cold as well. That's a job for tomorrow anyway to sort that out. Ooh. That's not really good coming out of Simon's chip, that'll block his boiler. It's more than just a birthday bumper today. I was at a wedding last night, Charlotte and David's wedding, so it's a picture of the John Deere and the little niece and nephew as well. 
It's from David and Charlotte's wedding. So happy wedding day, David and Charlotte. You'll watch this tomorrow. <laughs> we've, got a, we've got a John Deere here, and he's, David's got it ready for the track run already. He's got his lights on, but he's going to have to put some more on. And then we've also got Jacob with us. Say hello. Say hi. hi. <laughs> we've got... Lily. Beth. I'm Beth. We've got Beth, who wants to work for KWS. So if anyone from KWS is watching, get in touch. And then we've also got Lily as well, all the way from Windsor. But Beth doesn't live in Windsor. No. Beth I live will live wherever Windsor. someone will give her a job. <laughs> yeah, that's I live in Windsor. Mistake. Yeah, there oh. we go. So, say hello. hello. Say hi, YouTube. Say hi, happy YouTube. wedding day. Happy, happy wedding, wedding day, David Charlotte. And we've got another wedding as well. We're going to put a picture on now with a Bateman in it. Also, Phil from Bateman that installed the sprayer for me. Got married yesterday, so congratulations to him and Lorna. And there's a picture of their sprayer looking pretty trick at the wedding. Does anyone know a way of getting weed sticks in a bowl without making a mess around the worktop? If you do, let me know. I actually did a survey on Twitter the other day about what makes more mess, a real Christmas tree being taken outside in the new year or putting wheat picks in a cereal bowl. And there was a 240 people voted and I think 60% voted that wheat picks made more mess than a Christmas tree. What else do you think makes more mess than wheat picks? Leave a comment if you have a good idea. Tester update. I now have to eat my breakfast from my feet up because he chews my toes. At the David Brown Tractor Club Museum. It's immaculate, isn't it, that one? Nine ninety, we used to have three of them when I left school. That with the blue wheels. Just notice this badge on here. I think that's um, James's dad, who services the combine. Immaculate fourteen ninety. Look at that with the wheel weights on the front. We're in the David Brown factory with Roger. And apparently, he's going to tell us some killer facts about this tractor because yeah. it's actually the original fast track. Uh, yeah, this is the first track that David Brown produced for David Brown tractors. Uh, later, it was called, it was called the David Brown tractor, uh, but then became the VAC-1, which is a uh, vehicle agricultural kerosene. Um, in 1939, these tractors were started to be built through till 1945. Uh, and in that time, this tractor could outpace a lot of cars that were actually on the road. Um, this would do up to 40 mile an hour in some people's hands, which was quicker than cars of the time. In 1945? In 19, well, in 1939, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like a bird's eye view of the factory. So you can see the shape of it there, because it had to follow. I think that was the railway line. So when we flew over it the other day, that's what you could see. And then if we go over here, we've got a David Brown forage harvester. We had one of them and we took the spouse off the top and used it for chopping rape straw. And then we got a couple of crop masters. The last tractor ever built in the, off the production line in Meltham. Went to the States, lived in the case factory in the States and it's back here now. And it's even got a plate on it. To say, if you can read that, 1988, 11th of March. End of an era. We've got a 995. We used to have a 990, which looked very similar to that. And this beastie thing weighs 11 ton. And that's what they used to tow load tester tractors with pulling it. So I don't know what gearbox is in it, but it's got some sort of swivel joint there. Dumper or something. A little weight on the back, my hydraulic pumps. And this is like an absolutely immaculate crop master. That's really what we uh, need to get the other one sort like. Churry red as well, like Bateman red. 1490 there. We used to have one of them with a hydro shift gearbox, which was quite unreliable. So that went and we had a 1690 to replace it and a 1394 four wheel drive. 
that's only two wheel drive so it's got small wheels on the front i can't see any four wheel drives in here actually because that's two wheel drive as well this one here is completely cut in half so you can see the radiator the fan the pistons the con rods the injectors the valves they don't open up and down fuel filter cutting half clutch gearbox cutting half as well fuel tank cutting half it's better nick than andrews fuel pump cutting half as well see the little screws where you change the revs the David Brown Tractor Club Museum. One running outside. Cold start on the 990. David Brown Crunch. Ooh. That's in the bloopers. <laughs> Got me dad some David Brown goodies. Can't show you because some of them for his Christmas present. If he watches the video, it'll spoil the surprise. But top tip, if you're going to secure your flags with a 990, make sure it's not threaded through the link arms when you drive forwards. Otherwise, it could clout you on the head and make a funny video. Anyway, thanks to Roger for showing me around that tractor. And uh, they're open again next month. Anyway, the David Brown Tractor Club, so you can come and have a look around and see what, what they've got here.